All right, we're going we're back once more into the breach, Chet. Once more into the suck. Deploying. I'm going to do it until I hate it. We're definitely going to have to neutralize a guard or two first, though. Because I've got to have a weapon. Like, not having a weapon, giving me no option to fight back. Like, once they're alerted in these enclosed spaces, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Well, you paid for it 18 months ago, but you had some idea of when to expect it. I've talked before about, like, with garage kits, where, like, you basically... So, if you don't know, the way the garage kits work is you order them, but the people that are making the garage kit or that are selling the garage kit, usually when they sell it to you, the kit doesn't exist yet. And I don't mean in the sense of, like, oh, it needs to be made. Like, you're not paying for something that's definitely going to happen. You're paying money because the company has to wait until they get a certain number of orders before they can actually get the kits made. So, like, if you put your money down on a garage kit, and then they don't get the, you know, whatever, the 50 or 100 or 500 orders that they need, then you just never get that kit. Whereas with Kickstarter and stuff, like, once you reach the goal, that's it. You know you're gonna get the product. Boss, I've made up my mind. I want to be of use to you, not him. Let me work to pay for what I've done. I'll prove it, that I'm... that I've always been your ally. Boss, I'll be focused on coordinating backup here at Mother Base. The chain of command is still in place. If you have orders, give them through Miller as usual. Skullface is in OKB Zero. Start by making contact with him. Good to see you, Postal Trout. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday, and hopefully the weekend is treating you well. And you don't have to apologize for being late. Again, as always, you are under no obligation to be here. Show up when you can. Otherwise, you know, if you got other things going on, feel free to do that. That's that's why the vo the archive exists. That's why the VODs are there, so... Uh, ne never feel like you have to be here. I know, I know everybody wants to be here, but... You don't have to feel bad just because you don't just because you missed something. It's not a big deal. Well, we're glad you're here. Glad you were able to make it. Now I will I will try Erst's idea and see if I can shimmy along the wall. Okay, I cannot. It's gonna make me go over the wall. Down, stupid. Good lord. I didn't know better I would say the game was trying to get me killed. So what I think I'll do, if I can, is try to get the guy up here on this spotlight, because if I can get his weapon, that will that will make a pretty big difference. Not that I'm trying to shoot it out, but you guys know me. And it's probably gonna come to that no matter what I wanna do. Let's, let's move, let's move. <sighs> no, no, I would really appreciate it if you did not see me. Are you, you're gonna come check it out, aren't you? Mother fucker.
the one thing I did not fucking need right now. If you could kindly fuck off, that would- that would just make my day. I'm gonna do I gotta wait because I don't want the walker gear to see me so I'm gonna wait for the walker gear to come by this guy's gonna have tunnel vision on the spotlight so I'm not real worried about that so once the walker gear is no longer in the danger zone I'm gonna take this guy off the spotlight grab his weapon and then I'm gonna try to move him away so they don't find him and freak out So allow me to... Alright, well, I'll... I guess I'll work with that. Grab the weapon, thank you. XOF has occupied the facility. Skullface must be close. I guess I'll take the magazine, even though I don't really need it. Alright. Now. Wake up. And, uh, I don't normally do this. But I ain't taking no chances with you, buddy. Alright, what do we got here? So there's a, like, I don't know if you can see it from here, but if you look between those two rocks on that little gravel path, it looks like they put some mines down here on this side, too. So I'm thinking the right side is still going to be the best bet, as much as I don't like it. I'll just have to be more careful of the sniper. Kindly look the other way, if you don't mind. Thank you. <clears throat> and then we will slowly make our way over there. I don't... I, I just... I don't understand. I don't understand. But that's okay because with a firearm, I have the ability to deliver something that I couldn't before. And that something is fucking retribution. It's not quite the same thing, Troubleshooter, but, uh, kind of. Can you crawl into mines in MGS, like, MGS-1? Kind of. You cannot do like you do in MGS-1 and crawl directly into the detonation face of the mine. 
Like, it will blow up if you do that. Okay, so I don't think they can get up this way. I think this is the only way for them to get up here. Uh, you boys are toast. great if you would get the fuck out of the way. Really? So shotgun guy is still gonna somehow get me, regardless. Quit whining. You did this to you. God damn it. was going to turn into a gunfight. Well, that's not good. That boy's got a goose stuff. Dad, how long do you think I last in a walker gear? My guess is not very long. Considering how long the tank lasted, or didn't last, They don't- they don't have the sniper anymore, because I smoked him. So if I stay out of the light... Shit. They're coming. And for those of you that are curious, this is also why I turned up, or turned down, the damage threshold. Um, because in situations like this, where I do end up in a fight, if I still had the same damage resistance, the same health level as you do in the rest of the game, uh, I would basically just be able to tank my way through every fight. Which I'm trying to avoid.
Okay, so that's two. I could swear there were more guys over there. Let's try moving. Again, we are still kind of in, like, worst-case scenario here. Wish tanks were more resistant to small arms fire. Yeah, that would be nice! But then again, all I'd have to do is hop in that tank, and then I could just lay waste to everything. Shit. Gotta go around. I, d I don't want to be crawling through light. And it's weird, too, because, like, I don't see any of these guys wearing night vision goggles, and yet they're still seeing me from, you know, far enough away that it, it feels like they're wearing them. It's, it's honestly kind of odd. would therefore be a tank a bit too realistic yeah yeah and again this this metal gear is not well metal gear in general is not really that kind of game oh, shit oh, oh no 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 Absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Don't make me shoot you. Don't make me shoot you. You're gonna make me shoot you, aren't you? Oh my god. Uh, yes. Alien super weapon. There, camo does matter in this game. It absolutely matters. But I've also, as part of the suffering of this run, yeah, I also have vision increased as well. 125% at night, 150% during the day. That's why you see us pretty much doing nothing but night ops. Um, but I've also restricted myself to only using the tiger camo, the tiger stripe camo in Afghanistan and only using the woodland camo in Africa, so that, that camo is not ideal for every situation. God, if this donkey turns, it, it's gonna be another gunfight. I was hoping I could get up here, but it doesn't look like I can. We wait for the chopper to go overhead. And I'm going to see if I can sneak up on the sniper. Good night, sweet friend. 
Oh, he's got the PSG-1. He got the Fancy Boy Sniper. Okay, there's the ladder over here. Uh, now, the reason I don't use the OD is because when the increased vision on these guys, you have to have some kind of camo. Because if I just try to do this with OD, uh, they would, like, they would see me from even farther away. Especially in Afghanistan. Now this is going to be the really tough one. Because I gotta try and get through alerted guards with this helicopter going overhead. And you can see there's friggin' cameras here as well. Like, this is... This is the ultimate test of your sneaking skills, and I have already failed miserably. See if I can ambush this guy when he comes up the steps. See if we can ambush him. I don't know if he's even gonna come all the way up here. Maybe not. Alright, let's wait for the chopper to go over. And I'm gonna see if I can... See if I can get down from here. You're moving on. Alright, let's hop the wall. I said hop the fucking wall. Alright. We got something. We got a little bit of cover from the, uh, from the helicopter. Let's see if that gets anybody's attention. Doesn't look like it. I didn't mark any of these guys. Hi, Mark. was probably about as close as I could have kept that. That chopper was literally like seconds away from seeing me.
Good lord. Yeah, soul leaving the body moment. It is... It is rough. I mean, on the plus side, we're whittling down the threat level. A couple of guys at a time. I remember right, there's a camera just outside this door. I'm trying to see the camera, I can't really- that, there it is. Alright. So now that I know where the camera is, can I? Can. Let's see what they're doing next. Playing with a... Uh, Durgan Hauser, uh, do, if you're curious, we're playing a hardcore OSP run. And suppressors are not on the menu. If you're curious, you can do uh, exclamation OSP to get a rundown of the rules and generally how I'm playing this. And you can see there's there's the walker gear literally on the other side of this window. Oh hi Mark. Yeah you can't get in here. And I know it makes you mad. Uh, OSP stands for On-Site Procurement, which... Up until this game, that was pretty much how you had to play every Metal Gear game. You started with nothing and you had to find all your equipment during the game, or during the mission. Uh, this game doesn't really do that, it has you generally bring in a whole bunch of stuff with you every time you go into a mission. Uh, I'm trying to play the game more in the spirit of the original Metal Gear franchise. To varying degrees of success. Oh, oh mama. Come check it out. Oh, no worries, Dugenhauser. Um, I mean, if it's not for you, then I apologize for that, but, like, th I, I like to play hard games. I like to, I like to challenge myself. Are y'all not gonna come after me or what? Like, I thought you were coming to check it out and then you just decided not to come in here. I'm a little confused. Alright, where's our mans? Alright, you're moving on. So I'm just gonna- I'm gonna see if I can just move right on past you, my brother. All right. Did they yoink these XOF soldiers from Vietnam? I mean, not exactly, but kinda. 
Yeah, Kojimbo is, is definitely a trip. And so are his games. But to be honest, I'm kind of glad he got out from under Konami's thumb, because he's had a lot more freedom to do the kind of stuff that he wants to do. I don't think we ever would have gotten a game like Death Stranding out of Konami. Check it out, buddy. Come check it out. That's unfortunate for you. I will wait for the chopper to pass, and then I gotta neutralize this guy. Yeah, it does. It does kind of leave the Metal Gear franchise in limbo. Um, and I mean, we already know from experience that Konami's gonna do whatever they think will make them money, but not necessarily what's good or right for the brand. And that's unfortunate, but them's the brakes. Alright. slowly getting there. And you probably are wondering, why do I keep killing these guys? And the answer is really simple. If I neutralize them in any other way, the second this base goes on alert again, they're all gonna be coming at me. They will get right back up, pull guns out of their ass, and start shooting at me like they never lost their weapon. Enemy detected. Has been okay. Walker gear is now turned the other way. Down, boy. And now we just slowly sneak our way right past our mans here. Because he's busy with tunnel vision. And I think we made it. I think we made it. Maybe. Maybe. Welcome back, Megas. They're not coming after you. Boss, it might be a trap. His ride has arrived. Don't let Skullface get away. Stop him at the Heliport. Well, there you go. We done did it. Boss, can you see the Skullface is right there. We done did it. Make him talk. We and it, it didn't him take me nearly as many motion. tries as I thought it would. Um, also, on the, on the subject of Kojimbo, and his, uh, his indulgences. You're about to experience one of Kojimbo's indulgences. Uh, I can't sit through the music part of this, but... There's gonna be a lot of talking. So just FYI. Yeah, Death Stranding isn't for everybody, Dugan Hauser. But most Kojima games aren't for everybody. You too have known loss. 
And that loss torments you still. You hope hatred might someday replace the pain. But it never goes away. It makes a man hideous inside and out. Wouldn't you agree? We both are demons. Our humanity won't return. You, me, we've no place to run, nowhere to hide. That is why I'll show you my demon. That's what she said. <laughs> Gross. Follow me, big boss. Just go along with him for now. We're ready to fight. I'd love to, but. That's our leverage against him, our deterrent. He it won't actually let me get close to him. Like, if I get too close to him, it stops me from walking. They, they don't want me, like, Whatever trying to see QC you see him or something. It's just one possible solution derived by Cypher. My will is different. I've known you since your time at Langley. I've long been the other side of your coin. 1964, Soviet territory. Fox's first mission. Any mess you made, I was there to clean up. You completed your task, and admirably. The information you returned was far more than enough to fill our pockets. With it, our futures became, more or less, set in stone. Uh, when you ask a question like that, Spookist, you're beginning to understand what I mean when I say you don't take Kojima's work and at then face the value. Came to me with an idea. Washington doesn't know how to spend money, he said. I'd like if, to if you're just redirect it. If you're just playing Kojima's games and taking the surface read, you're doing it wrong. Covertly to supporting America. Cypher. You know the rest. To him, it was mourning the loss of his friend. Or rather, an act of revenge on the world, but America most of all. going to keep so monologuing for a while, including during the car ride, so like if you need to get another drink, or a snack, or go to the bathroom, now's a good time to do that. If you don't care about this stuff. Just FYI. He's going to gesticulate with his hands a lot, too. To unite America and the entire world, 
The Major thought this was his friend's room. But I think he never understood what she wanted. Before he ever walked or cried, even before he was born, his mother tongue was English. He doesn't know the pain of losing his own language. Not yet. He cannot understand her will. I do. I was born in a small village. I was still a child when we were raided by soldiers. Foreign soldiers. Torn from my elders, I was made to speak their language. With each new post, my masters changed, along with the words they made me speak. Words are peculiar. With each change, I changed too. My thoughts, personality, how I saw right and wrong. War changed me, and not only my visage. Words can kill. I was invaded by words, burrowing and breeding inside me. A philosopher once said, it is no nation we inhabit, but a language. Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. My fatherland, my truth was stolen from me. And so was my past. All that's left is the future. And mine is revenge. On those who bleach off the words of their fellow man. This is what I learned from the Major. And then it hit me. It was he who should feel my wrath. He and the code he chose as basis for control. Language codes, information codes, beamed all around us, genetic codes spanning history. By controlling the codes, Cypher Zero intends to unify the world. Codes implanted into our heads, sucking our minds dry as it spreads from one host to the next. A parasite upon this earth, that is what Zero Look here, buddy. Is. As you can take that that, that comment and you can go fuck afflicted. yourself with it. You how about that? How about that? Killing my freedom. Killing all traces of my past. Killing any promise of a future. We are all but dead. Just cuz you can't see me doesn't mean I'm not here. Earth, a world reduced to zero. Cypher plans to use its codes to control the world. They think they can. And the mother tongue of all those codes is king. The word became flesh. The final parasite. It knows English. An English strain of the vocal parasite. I will exterminate the English language. With this, I'll rid the world of infestation. All men will breathe free again. Reclaim their past, present, and future. This is no ethnic cleanser. It is a liberator. To free the world from zero. Let the world be. Sans lingua franca, the world will be torn asunder. And then it shall be. People will suffer, of course. A phantom pain. The world will need a new common tongue. A language of nukes. My metal ears shall be the thread by which all countries are bound together. Inequality. No words will be needed. Every man will be forced to recognize his neighbor. People will swallow their pain. The music is starting to cut in, lost by the way. Hands. The world will become one. This war is peace. Yep, there you go. So now we gotta skip chat.
I, I just want to say, now that, that Homeboy is done with his monologue, um, a thousand trashy fanfics were born out of this scene. From the minute he says, I'll show you my demon, like, If you know, you know. If you know about fanfic writers, then you know. A thousand smutty fanfics were born from this scene. Anyway. Oh, wait, I think there's... Yeah, there's more cutscenes. Never mind. Let me disappear again. Here. Now kiss. Remember the Alamo. the only demons in this world. Like you, vengeance is all he has. It's man's thirst for revenge that drives the times. Just as you live because of me. He lives because of you. Show him! tidbit about Psycho Mantis in this game. If you pay attention, uh, the person that he he's taking his orders from will leave a small memento. Like, Mantis's appearance changes just a little bit depending on which
which voice in his head he's listening to. Are you noticing a trend, chat? Apparently our dudes are fighting. Of course, alien super weapon. I mean, someone with your name should understand. If you're gonna have a super weapon, you gotta make it make animal sounds. Like, again, it's it's just a requirement. It's It's the intimidation factor, but it's also like, I mean, if you're gonna make a giant robot that looks like a dinosaur, why would you not also make it make dinosaur sounds, right? Like I just... It's just the natural progression. All right. Still think Apache gunship should come with airwolf sounds. I mean, that's up to you. Install the speaker system. That's all you gotta do. It's not hard. Mission list updated. All right, chat. Here we go. Please select a mission. Are you ready for a boss fight? Because it's time for a boss fight, <laughs> and I'm probably gonna die. A lot. This is another one where we're gonna have to break the rules. Cause, uh, there ain't no sneaking in this mission. I'm just debating on whether the Gustav or the Javelin will do more damage. Because I feel like the Gustav does more damage, and it doesn't require a lock-on. It also has more ammo. And decisions, decisions. Because I don't... Can you fire the javelin without the lock-on? I don't remember. Oh, Dugan Hauser, the what what they call it is a Blackfoot, but it's 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 a knockoff Blackhawk helicopter. Like all the ve all the vehicles and weapons in this game are not their real world counterparts, they're just slightly modified versions. I try the javelin, and when I inevitably die, then I'll switch to something else. Um, I don't think the deagle's gonna do a whole lot. But I also, like, the range on the grenade pistol is not real great, so I guess I'll take the deagle? Again, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole lot with it, but... Uh, and I don't think I'm even going to take the horse because he's just going to get killed a bunch and then I'm going to get yelled at. Uh, let me... Before we do this... Before, before we do this... I'm going to make sure that I outfit the helicopter properly. Since it is going to show up. It's probably still going to get shot down a bunch. But, uh... It is what it is. Alright. Here we go. 
Please select a mission. Hopefully this works. It probably won't, but hopefully it does. Deploying. And we'll do it in the morning, just so you guys can get a good look at uh, at Metal Gear, at the one and only legitimate boss fight in this game. I I don't count any of the skull stuff. So also, I guess I should. Uh, Pop that in here, in the corner of your screen. Got a spike on the RWR. Strange PRF. What's wrong? Control loss. Can't maintain RPM. We're settling. So here's my problem. Here's my problem with Liquid in this game. I refuse to believe that somebody hates something so bad that he's like, I will literally destroy the world because I hate you so much. Like, that's, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff in Metal Gear that's not realistic, but even that's a little bit much. E even by Kojima standards. A lust for revenge. It's not, I hate the world, so I want to destroy the world. It's, I hate this one specific person so much that I'm going to destroy the world because fuck that one guy in particular. It makes zero sense. But then again, a lot of stuff in Kojima's work doesn't make much sense. Would have been better if they'd put in that transformer noise just then.
Don't worry, Chad. None of this is explained. Ever. Just fine and in one piece after this mission. I also apologize for saying robot or uh, dinosaur noises earlier. Uh, Sahelanthropus is very clearly making monkey noises. Like, distorted monkey noises, but monkey noises. the records, and I will vanish from human memory, but the thirst for revenge that I have planted will infest the system! No one can stop it now! Sahalanthropus will unleash that thirst unto the future! You're not wrong, troubleshooter. You're not wrong. Major, I'm burning up! Boss, get out of there! No shit. Great advice. But don't, don't do it like you're in a hurry or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does, Friendy. I, it's it's either a dick laser or it's a dick flamethrower. It, it does have a penis weapon. I just don't remember what kind of weapon. I'm pretty sure it's a laser. Again, that bullshit? Never explain. Uh, yeah, it might be a flamethrower. I, I don't like... Obviously, in the original Metal Gear Solid, it's a laser. I think it's a flamethrower in this one? I, again, I, I'm not 100% sure. stop it, boss. Destroy Sahelanthropus. I... I... Yeah. That, that was... That was the whole idea. You don't say. All right, we gotta get to a specific place.
Well, shit. Because that's what top grade weapons do, chat. It turns a 30 minute fight into a 30 second fight. I don't have to Fulton at max dammit. They're gonna Fulton it for me. With like six helicopters after I'm done. Digital art, considering that, I, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that the Javelin didn't actually exist in 1984. It's basically like magic. Also, there's no such thing as a grenade shotgun. Oh, well, there you go. That fight was so hot. Snake took his shirt off. It's not that I'm equipped specially alien super weapon, it's just that I have like maxed out weapons. Like once the once you've maxed out all the research on weapons, like it 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 trivializes that fight. Now kiss. No, kiss. You don't get that close and not kiss. Don't you fucking tease me like that. Let's see Look, he's not even wearing a shirt. Come on. This is fucking bullshit, Chet. Look, I have Snake not wearing a shirt. He went into combat. They got literally two inches away from each other. Their lips were close enough. They could smell each other's breath. And the game didn't even give me that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I love that Snake is gonna do this whole fucking cutscene without a shirt on. It's beautiful. It was not intended when I did that, but I'm glad it's happening. It was 100% unintentional, but I am here for it. Where's the other? Very close to you. Sadly, that thing is the one weapon in the game they never let you use. I want the mayor's leg. Why won't you let me have it? Why won't you let me have it, Metal Gear? It's not fair. I'm not gonna do it, though. I think it's better if you don't.
do it yourself. Mission complete, boss. Hey there, Axel Ferguson. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. First time chatter. Hopefully the weekend is treating you well. The man so desperate for relevance. Support helicopter requested. <laughs> yeah, I still don't... I, I, It's got to be that grenade launcher. That's the only thing I can think of. It's got to be the grenade launcher that's, that's a rank-restricting item. Either that or it's the Deagle, because those are the only two things that I took that... Because I took the Gustav the other time. Yeah, I'll have a look at it after this. I'm kind of curious myself. Uh, normally in the vanilla game it would tell you, but... Uh... Because I'm playing with Jimbo's gun mod, it like the description for all the weapons has been changed, so they might have not put that part in. Again, shirtless snake was not intentional, but god damn it. Anyone can give up his fight by laying I love arms. it. But the feeling of holding a gun. That we'll never forget like our lost limbs the sensation lingers oh. here she comes here she comes <laughs> They got everybody in on this cutscene. Even Doug gets a moment. See, I told you we didn't need to Fulton. We got self-piloting Fulton. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure an oil rig is not raised for something like this. We hold our 
rifles in missing hands. We stand tall on missing legs. Hey, look, gold peak light is in there too. The bones of our fallen. Then, and only then, are we alive. This pain is ours, and no one else's. The secret weapon we wield, out of sight. We will be stronger than ever for our peace. Sahalanthropus will unleash that thirst unto the future. Those were his last words. Kaz. <laughs> Pretentious to the end. Still. Doesn't feel like this is over. And I'll never be whole again. Nades for the robot man. Correct. Correct. Again, as with all Kojima games, rule of cool. Rule of cool. What if the giant transforming dinosaur man robot nuclear tank thing also had grenades? Well, obviously, we can't sit here and listen to the credits. Because copyrighted music, and again, <sighs> the DMCA is, well, I've said before, fair use is the punchline to a lawyer's joke. Fair use for, for them, not for the average person. Scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. I won't see you in his ashes. You're all diamonds. This man acted as accomplice to the attack on Mother Base. Why are you here? Revenge against the boss. I'm not like you! I think it is time you knew. I'll go alone. Boss, what are you... We can't afford to lose anyone else. What if she's a spy? What if I'm a spy? Are you? Kill her! Kill her! Kill what should we do, boss? Just give the order. You are right. He is not one of us. Boss. Snake? Now, I want you to imagine for just a moment for just a moment, that everything that you have seen up until now was chapter one of what Attention. was supposed to be three chapters originally. Diamond dogs. Even with Skullface dead, our brothers are unavenged. And the phantom pain he brought us lives on. Cypher is still out there. We know they've planted spies. Parasites among us. Watch the man to your left. Unfortunately, to your right. uh, it's. I was Assume gonna say. Nothing. Report everything. It's the only way to protect ourselves. And definitely not fascist. From here on out. <laughs> Pay attention to the eyes, Chad. right here in our midst and they will get no mercy unit function added 
There we go, chat. That's that's chapter one at least. Uh, unfortunately, the game will wrap up very quickly after this. Diamond Dogs needs to be bigger. Missions have come in too. We still have a long road ahead of us. All right, let's get back to the ACC. Fighting for double Ds, yeah, exactly. Or, or, there, if that's what you're into. Or, hey, you know what? Maybe even smaller. Mission even with Skullface dead, our pain is still right with Miller, us. Miller, we you're repeating need, yourself again. We need more strength. We need so this is where they start throwing, like, repeat missions. Like, here's the extreme version of this mission. Here's the OSP version of this mission, which I've already done. So there's there's not that many missions left in the game. Um, and a lot of, like... The thing is, a lot of the missions that are left in the game are not... Like, it's not to say that they're bad or anything, but, like, they don't tie into the narrative as closely as a lot of the other missions did. At least that's the way it feels to me. Um, but honestly, chat, I'm gonna I'm, I'm tell you, like... I know it's a little bit early, but I feel like I kind of want to end the stream here today. Not only because I feel like finishing up that chapter was a good stopping point for the day, um, but also because, as I mentioned before, I'm I'm very tired. It has been a long week, um, and so I just like, if I'm being perfectly honest, I kind of want to just relax a little bit and and maybe take a nap, try to get some sleep. I mean, you know me, I, I joke all the time, sleep is for the week, but, uh, but yeah, I, and I, you know, I always apologize, because I only stream once a week, so, you know, it's like, I, the least I could do is give you five or six hours, but, uh, yeah, I, I just, again, I'm, I'm very, very tired today, and, and again, I feel like that's a yeah. good stopping point for today better better to stop the stream here when we've just closed out a chapter and then we can pick up you know next time and honestly i would say we could probably finish up the rest of the story missions next stream um so you know one of the other things that i've been doing is is kind of you know putting in the thought about what we're going to do next um, some folks have talked about, you know, potentially doing an XCOM 2 run, uh, maybe doing Xenonauts, maybe going, uh, back to some Battle Brothers, uh, there was talk of, you know, potentially going back to BTA, maybe going back to Mech Warrior. maybe we could do another Metal Gear Solid 5 playthrough, you know, do a more traditional playthrough instead of, uh, instead of this, like, super balls-ass hard version of the game that I've been doing. Um, so, you know, there's, there's definitely some stuff. Yeah, Koloski keeps throwing it out there. Mercenaries. Still gotta finish Mercenaries at some point. I mean, we could do that as an interim game. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish Mercenaries, but... You know, I, we finished Ace Combat 4. I would like to finish Mercenaries. Um, but we could also do Ace Combat 5. There's still Ace Combat 0. Like, there, there are other games out there, so it's really... It's just a matter of what you guys feel like, so, I mean, again, we still got at least one more stream left in Metal Gear Solid 5, maybe two, just depends on how quickly, like, it, it depends on how easily I'm able to get the missions done. Um, I may end up in a situation where, once again, uh, we, we end up having to redo a mission a bunch of times, but, uh, but barring any unforeseen circumstances like that, I, I imagine we will probably finish up either next stream or maybe the stream after. So we're getting close to the end of Metal Gear. Um, so, you know, there's there's plenty of stuff floating around in my head about what we do after this. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If we did an XCOM run, it would definitely be heavily modded. Um, so I would have to start putting together a mod list and make sure that all those mods play together well and, and you know, stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. 
XCOM may be more of a long-term project just because I'll need to do some playtesting. Are there any smaller one-off indie games you are interested in, boss? Ah! I mean, there's lots of... Oh, shit. I'm, I'm over here yawning. Um, there's lots of indie games that, that I'm into. Uh, currently, there aren't any that I'm, like, super, super into. I'll tell you what. I, let, let me... Let me, let me do this. Let's go back to the office real quick. And I will kill the helicopter noises. And let me open up, uh, let me open up the Steam real quick. Because I, like, there, there are plenty of games, like, for whatever reason, I know I just said on the Discord that I had uninstalled uh, Total War Three Kingdoms. But for whatever reason, I, like, I got on a kick on that the other night and I was just playing a little bit of it because... I was in the mood for some Total War, and, and I don't... Like, I refuse to spend the $8,000 to get, you know, Total Warhammer and, and all of the DLC for it, because that shit's ridiculous, and, and I don't... Like, it's a fucking scam. So, I'm, I'm not... As much as I would love to play Total Warhammer, I'm not spending that kind of money. Uh, I'm not giving Sega that kind of money. <laughs> So I want to thank you guys for coming out on a Saturday and hanging out with me, spending some time on that hot tactical espionage operations, and hopefully you had a good time. Again, I do apologize for being a little bit of a shorter stream, but it's it's just been one of those weeks, so I'm going to take some time for myself, and hopefully you guys will too. Again, the world is a roller coaster of challenges, and we don't all have a lot of time left on this planet, so... I appreciate you choosing to spend some of that limited time here with me and with this community. Again, there's a million places you could have been, a million things you could have been doing. So I appreciate that you chose to spend some of that time here with us. And uh, it does not go unnoticed. And of course, I want to thank you one more time for coming to hang out with me. Again, you guys are the community. You make this what it is. Without you, there is no stream. So thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this the awesome experience that it is. And I want to remind you, like I always do, that your life has value and that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise, and I'll see you next time.